We were in Shenzhen doing the right thing at the right time and immediately identified that people need to come to build this hardware. That was critical in pioneering many hardware companies. My name is Duncan Turner, I'm Managing Director of Hacks and I'm general partner within the fund SOSV which basically funds all of our operations. Hacks is here basically to help hardware entrepreneurs get further faster. We provide $100,000 cash, plus we provide a program which costs us around $75,000 per team and for that we take 10% equity in the companies. We take a different approach in that we are very concentrated initially on product and in customers. My name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founder of TrainerBot. And my name is Harrison, and I'm the other yeah, co-founder. <laughs> and, and we're yeah. brothers. Yeah. We love playing table tennis since we were kids. However, when we grew up, we suddenly lost this perfect partner. Before we came to Hacks, we're just two makers in our dorm room. We thought, what if we can build a robot that can just give you that epic shot anytime? So that's what we did. TrainerBot is the first robot that works with an app. You can configure any spin and then share it on the internet. In the professional world, it takes so much attention for the coach to keep serving the same job consistently. And we believe that's one of the things the robot can excel at. It might be the first time in history that a robot actually teach a human a particular skill. For companies coming from the West and looking at wanting to create really fast iteration on what they're doing, our value proposition is Shenzhen. Huachang Bay is a spiritual home for hardware because pretty much every single component you could think of that you could put into a product will be down there. It's like a huge catalogue of parts that just happen in this one street. For us, it's a paradise for makers. Everyone has this knowledge of hardware and product and components that come together and help product creators immensely. Everything can be so much faster. And that's significant for us because Every iteration means something is improved. The more problem you fix, the better the robot becomes. If you can talk to the community and understand from them the successes and failures they've had, it can be much quicker for you to navigate things. I honestly see the program as just 30% of the value of being here. The rest is in the community around. We have a weekly meeting with all the batchmates. They help you hit your milestone. Because everyone is a hardware maker and everyone has experienced a different area. And then you can just bring up your problem that you encountered and they will just say, how about you try this, how about you try that? I very rarely find something where it's like, okay, that's a unique problem to us. If it is a unique problem, you'll find somebody who will have pretty good advice on how to solve it. You know, we're not competing with these different teams, we're actually helping each other. Give them insights, we show them how we did it. We actually achieved stuff that wasn't possible if we just by ourselves. There's very little pretending. You have four months when you first join the batch to make a prototype. We're, we're a bunch of foreigners. The people that are crazy enough to start hardware companies that are willing to move to China, that don't speak any of the local language, they require a certain level of like, I'm really willing to roll the dice and see what comes out. We'll invest in very early stage technology companies. We have the luxury of being successful in many of the investments that we've made. And so we can then take some, what I like to call moonshot bets as well. There's a chance that there could be a billion dollar company in a couple of things. 